What's up, Rage Nation? How y'all doing? This is Alex. Are you watching the Rage Nation Show Transformers 4 Edition. This is just a web series where I talk about all the things that matter to me for the production of Transformers 4, the live action film directed by Michael Bay. This is update video number 9. And in the previous video, I had mentioned that Jack Rayner, the actor, was casted as the boyfriend of the daughter of Mark Wahlberg's character. So you got all that? So that's officially confirmed. Now the next thing that I want to talk about is that Transformers 4 will be shooting from May to September. So that's a five month long shoot and we don't know the locations of where they're going to be shooting but it's quite possible that they're going to be going back to Chicago. They already shot in Chicago for Transformers Dark of the Moon so they might just be shooting in Chicago but as an unnamed city. But anyways, what I really want to talk about is more about Jack Rayner. Now Jack Rayner is officially confirmed as the boyfriend character and as we already know he's the race car driving boyfriend. Now we officially got that confirmation. We already knew that the boyfriend was going to be a race car driver. I just needed that extra confirmation. So now that we know that he's a race car driving boyfriend that means he's going to be driving race cars in the movie. Now in these Transformers 4 update videos I like to put out my hypotheses. I mean my hypothesi. Hypothesi? Yeah. Hypothesi? Hyp hypothesis. Okay. Anyways, I like to hypothesize. I like to hypothesize. So, there's a couple things that could happen in the story in Transformers 4. If he's a race car driving boyfriend, he's going to be driving a race car. Now, Michael Bay isn't going to be making him a race car driver unless being a race car driver plays some sort of significance to the story. So here are the options. The race car that he's going to be driving is either going to be an Autobot, it's either going to be a Decepticon, or it's not going to be a Transformer at all. If it's an Autobot, that means that the race car that he's driving will be Jack Rayner's character's sidekick, or his guardian. If the race car is a Decepticon, then the race car has always been there to infiltrate the humans. So that Decepticon has been waiting for the right time to strike. Now on the other hand, if it's nothing at all, that means he's going to be using his race car driving skills to avoid Decepticons. And most likely he's going to be having his girlfriend in the car and they're going to be trying to outrun Decepticons. That is cool. I mean, we already saw this when Sam and Michaela were in Bumblebee and trying to outrun a, a, a barricade. But that was kind of a short-lived chase. I think that now that Michael Bay has a handle on things, he knows what he wants and he knows what he can do with this car chase. But we don't know if it's going to be an Autobot, we don't know if it's going to be a Decepticon, or we don't know if it's going to be anything at all. But these are the things that could happen. I think these are the only three things that could happen. So in a way I've kind of figured out the story, theoretically speaking. Now Mark Wahlberg is going to be playing the father. I have a feeling that the father is going to be the disapproving father and he's actually not going to be happy about his daughter dating a race car driving boyfriend because that seems kind of reckless and unsafe. But Jack Rayner's character is going to be able to prove to Mark Wahlberg, the father, that he's the man for the job because he's going to be keeping his daughter safe in this amazing car chase sequence trying to outright Decepticons. So that's what I think is going to happen. Now for me, I kind of like the idea of it being a Decepticon because if it's a race car, it's going to be a Stunticon. And who does not want to see Stunticons in Transformers 4? So what do you guys think of my theories? I mean, this is really about Jack Rayner's character being a race car driver and that obviously should hold some kind of significance to the story. We're dealing with Autobots and Decepticons here. These are robots that can transform into cars. So the car that he's driving has to be something or there's got to be some sort of big chase sequence which involves Jack Rayner's character driving fast <laughs> and Michael Bay obviously making him look cool. So there you have it. That's my theory for his character and his contribution to the story. What do you guys think of that? Let me know in the comment section below. Finally, the next thing I want to talk about is, of course, Rage Nation VIP member passes. 100 units only, individually numbered. If you get one, you have access to this prize, which will be on the next video. And I'm thinking about doing this prize draw to VIP members on Blog TV Live. So I haven't picked out the specific date I want to do this, but it's going to be the next video. So if you don't have a member pass yet, 
get one. It's $5.99 plus shipping, and it gives you access to all the prize giveaways. So, um, you know, I got uh, freaking Iron Hide is next, and then Ultra Magnus, and then of course the exclusive um, 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 uh, Thundercracker from the um, ja Japanese exclusive Arms Micron. Uh, uh, and also, don't forget about uh, Rage Nation FTW t shirts, $26.99 plus shipping while supplies last. Only 100 units made. This is the Rage and Ronin. It's a samurai robot, as you can see. See? and Raging Nation FTW, Ronin on the back in Japanese characters. And finally, this is a hand-stitched, personalized uh, woven label of the Rage and Ronin. So this is a pretty special piece of clothing, and I'd like you guys to have the opportunity to have this while supplies last, $26.99 plus shipping. Get it before it's gone. Anyways, that's all I have to say in this video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more updates, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to talk to me on Facebook, like the Rage Nation Facebook page. And if you got Twitter, follow me on Twitter at Rage Nation. My name is Alex Yoon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. What's bigger city? Oh, uh, Fortress Maximus. Fortress Maximus. What the hell's Compitron?